Princeton University's chapter of Engineers Without Borders started a new program in Somne, Peru this year. Last summer, we visited the community and talked to the people in the town and asked them what their priorities were to try to decide what our first project would be. And while we were here, we got approached by some people in La Pitahaya, which is a settlement on the outskirts of Samne. Currently, they drink from the Rio Moche, which is a river nearby that's contaminated with mining waste and other contaminants. So we decided that our first project in Samne, Peru would be a potable water system for the community of La Pitahaya. I have uh, some experience working in water and sanitation projects in Latin America, and I could tell from the first minute of the first meeting that uh, PD High was going to be a really good community to work with. They were really excited about the project and very motivated to work, very organized, and had a very clear idea of um, the importance of having clean water, uh, both for themselves and for their children. So we were all really excited to come back to Samne um, for a second time and see all of our old friends um, and also to have a real project in mind that we were working towards. So our goal was to um, take samples and look at the area to assess the feasibility of um, the capturing of all the water in the source um, and then walk the line that we will transport the water with and take the GPS coordinates and the altitude measurements uh, to assess the feasibility of each um, possible system. and then do water tests on those different sources. From an engineering perspective, the project should be very viable because we'll be able to build a gravity-fed water system, which compared to uh, other alternatives such as pumps, um, the gravity-fed system is much easier to maintain and uh, the community should be able to, to handle all the repairs and everything like that uh, on their own uh, once we've finished uh, with the construction. The opportunity that we've had coming to Sunday has been an incredible one. We've been able to experience all kinds of, uh, all the components of the project, the community aspect with the amazing people of Sunday who really want to make this project happen. The technical challenges, trying to look for the sources, the finances of it. When it all comes together, we have a truly amazing project like the Peru project. Coming here to Peru has really changed my perspective on what work we do back home can do for others. And I've just really felt that I've grown a lot in the process of working on this. I'm really excited for the work that we're gonna do with this project, and I'm really looking forward to this summer. I know it's gonna be great.